Hi everyone, welcome back this week. So I know I'm a bit late here, but if you are following the news or other bigger health channel on YouTube, uh, you may have already heard about the respiratory illness outbreak in northern China, now which has also affected children more so than other age groups. Now I know that uh, any respiratory outbreaks could be quite alarming these days, but when we look at it with a sensible mind, what is happening in China is not particularly surprising because COVID did screw up most of our immune systems in some ways. Now, if you remember last year here in North America and the UK, we had a pretty bad RSV and flu season, and many people I know, including me myself, were hit by non-COVID respiratory infections, and I was sick for like two, three weeks almost. Now, the theory behind the worse than average flu season is usually tied to a, a hypothesis called immune immunity debt or immunity gap. Now you can think of the immune system as like the muscle that requires consistent training for best function. Now according to the immunity debt theory, because uh, of the lockdowns during COVID, the immune system got less exposure to common pathogens than normal times. Now this is particularly problematic in children uh, who were very young or born during that time. And because of of this insufficient immune training, they lack the more specific adaptive immune response to fight these winter season respiratory illnesses and pathogens. Now, although I cannot find a solid paper to support this hypothesis yet, it is a very plausible explanation of what's happening in China because they had one of the strictest lockdowns in the world and they did not relax COVID restriction until later in the last winter season. Now, when we look at the region in China that is experiencing the outbreak, it also makes sense. Northern region in China have a winter climate similar to that of most parts of Europe and North America, now which has the perfect temperature for respiratory pathogen to brew. Now, supposedly, if this outbreak were in southern China, I would be uh, much more worried, and this is would be much more alarming. Now, in terms of the causative agent, now it is most believed to be from a bacterial. Source and not viruses. Now, the bacteria is called Mycoplasma pneumoniae. Now, this bacteria infection can affect individuals of all ages, but they are more often common in children and young adults. In general, Mycoplasma pneumoniae infections tend to be milder than pneumonia caused by some other bacteria, such as some of those Pseudomonas bacteria. Now, however, the severity of the infection can vary from person to person and regardless of age. Now in children, mycoplasma pneumonia infections may result with symptoms such as cough, uh, fever, sore throat, and sometimes abdominal pain, not, which is not so different than what we commonly see with other viral respiratory infections. Now, however, because it is a bacterial infection, we can treat this type of pneumonia with specific antibiotics. Now, coming back to the lessons we learned uh, here, we are not talking about the economic impact. Now, certainly that's a huge implication, uh, but that is not my expertise to talk about here on YouTube. Now, in terms of health, lockdown likely damaged not only the children's immune system development, but also many other early social skill developments. Now, this Irish study published in the BMJ reported that parents of infants born during the pandemic lockdown period noticed that their children have some deficits in social communication in meaningful words and hand gestures such as waving bye-bye Now, compared to the historical cohorts that that they studied. The lockdown also limited outdoor sun exposure. A research poster presented very recently at the American Psychiatric Association 2023 annual meeting in May of this year uh, showed that there was a major increase in vitamin D deficiency in kids 6 to 17 with mental illness. 
了。那 vitamin D deficiency has long been associated with increased risk of upper respiratory tract infections, and this topic has been、uh, brought up multiple times during the. Last two three years, and I have also covered some vitamin D discussions here on the channel in the past. Now, certainly, a lot of the scientists and politicians do argue the benefits of lockdown, but it is important for us to also acknowledge the damage. The lockdowns have done to us. Now, perhaps some government would be more willing to admit the damage years later than some governing bodies.、Um, we will see that. Now, despite all the lockdowns, even as tight as in China,、uh, COVID was still not stopped in any form.、Uh, so, from a cellular immunological standpoint,、uh, a paper published in 2021 has already reported the disease can have a long-term impact on NK cells or natural killer cells, which are part of the innate immune response against viral infections. And COVID-19 recovered patients have a significant decrease in the number of NK cells for more than two months after infections. Now, so to wrap up, you know, COVID, as we know, does not affect everybody equally. The age can be a factor, but overall health status appears to be a bigger、uh, contributor to disease severity and long-term outcomes. Now, as we move on and. To pass the post-pandemic、uh, time,、uh, and optimizing our overall health wellness is more important than ever. Now, this starts with everything we eat every day and how we、uh, prepare our mindset. In my opinion, now this is why I try to keep a positive vibe here on my channel. And I know some of you may still be very angry、uh, and sour about what the pandemic and the surrounding policies、uh, have done to you and. And your loved ones.、Uh, now it is difficult to forget、uh, the events, certainly, but we can try to lessen the feeling and the mental burdens. And I hope this channel can help you feel better as the gate day goes by. Now, like always, thank you very much for all of you that are watching the channel consistently,、uh, and all the comments and likes. And if you want to、uh, listen to more health information with a positive vibe. And I hope to see you again here on the channel for my next video and many more. So take good care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.